Ladies and gentlemen, has your boss ever told you to do something you didn't want to do? Show of hands, don't be shy. Uh-huh. But let me guess you did it anyway. Maybe you had a kid to feed, a career to look after, and a state in Berlin to pay for. <laughs> Which one of us are immune to life's pressures? It's the same whether we're a lowly soldat or the Reichsmarschall. Can we really be blamed for everything our workplace does? Well, the prosecution certainly thinks so. I mean, get a load of all these charges. Looking at them, you'd think my client was the only Nazi west of the Rhine. Let's see here, plundering works of art. Well, that's just a harsh way of saying he protected Europe's treasures through a tumultuous period. The fact the prosecution documented these works as evidence shows they're all safe and sound. And they're beautiful. What is that, a Raphael? Just look at that. Disappearances of political opponents. Well, if every Nazi was so awful, what's the problem? Here's a joke for you. What's the difference between a tick and a Nazi? It doesn't matter because the whole thing was under the infamous Night and Fog Decree. A fitting name because the details of those so-called disappearances are so nebulous and uncertain you'd need leeway longer than the Gustav gun to attribute it to one man. Treatment of prisoners of war. Okay, okay, we've all seen the photos and they're hard to see. Those gaunt, emaciated figures really stick with you. But I'll tell you, lots of people went hungry, Nazis included. Why? It was the Allied blockade, and they certainly didn't make exceptions for prisoner rations. But you don't see old Admiral Dudley pound on the stand now, do you? Now, hear the big one, folks. Murder of six million Jews? That's unbelievable. Who could do something like that? No, I mean, really, who could? I'm no professor, but let's do some math. 